today we'll be showing you how to remap a Mitsubishi Expander. This is the same procedure as the Lancer 1.6, Lancer 2.0, ASX, and the very, very rare V6 Mivec Mondero that came out. So the process is essentially the same because the Expander has the same 1.6 engine as the Lancer 1.6. Uh, don't mind this guy here. We're trying to see if we can fit a strut bar or something. But basically, what I've already started is I've started plugging in the laptop. We're reading the ECU now, so it takes quite a while. It's a bit surprising. It's here. Uh, so that's our laptop right there. It's reading the ECU. Um, it's about 70% done. This started about 20 minutes ago, so there's another probably 10, 15 minutes to go. Okay, we've downloaded the file and then we're able to open it in our tuning software with this ECM Titanium and the reason why it's called Remaps because all of these things here, these are called maps. So as you can see, Spark Advanced Base Map, Ignition Correction, Injection Base Map, Torque Request Standard Condition, these are all maps. So all of these pertain to Spark Timing, this is Air Fuel, uh, this is Torque Request, basically this is Pedal. So we'll be editing this to show you and once we open it, so we'll take a look and open this is. Okay, so we have the base map here, so let's explain what this means. This is load here, our load, so how much you step on it, so 0% to 100% throttle. This is RPM, 500 to 6000 RPM. Then the values in here are in terms of degrees. So let's take for example 2000 RPM, so 18 RPM at 30% it's 45 degrees advance uh, towards red line at 5,000, 6,000 RPM and 100% throttle it's only 16 degrees advance. So normally what on, we do on Spark is we advance the whole thing by about 3-4 degrees. So um, advancing the Spark means that it fires earlier and then it has more time, the, the cylinder mixture has more time to ignite, more time to burn. So you get a longer burn you burn more fuel to get more power so that's spark and then how to how to how we edit this basically you know, we start from here you can uh, yeah four degrees should do nicely okay so save save and exit we do the same thing for the next one let's try 842 here Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four degrees is basically our best guesstimate on these things. Normally, we start about that. Um, if we can extract more, say maybe six, seven degrees, we will do that on our next tune. That's that right there. Uh, let's look at the uh, Lambda base map one. So same thing here. We have RPM. We have uh, yeah. We have load here. We have RPM here up to 6,600 RPM. And then what this means is this is air fuel ratio. One is stoichiometric. So 14, 14 is the one that's pretty much already standard. Then uh, the higher the numbers, it's leaner. Ah uh, wait. Uh, in Mitsubishi, I remember, it's at quite the opposite. The higher the number, the richer it is. So we have to make this lower. So we have to make this leaner. So, yeah. ECM is a funny way of doing the Mitsubishis. <laughs> Normally, air fuel, we don't really touch this part anymore because that is stoichiometric. So what we do on the here on the upper RPM part is we tend to give it a little bit less fuel. So yeah, five points there should be okay. So we save that too. And this is the infamous torque map. So RPM load. Uh, torque request is basically pedal opening. Uh, as you can see here, if it's eight, it's not exactly commensurate. It starts at three, five, six, and then becomes only eight here at around two to RPM. So this is percentage of the throttle. This is percentage throttle opening. So to get rid of that, what we do is we take this whole thing here up to about there. 
we equalize it. And we, uh, da, 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 uh, zero, zero. Uh, zero is still zero. And then we don't include that first one over there. We include this one here. So we'll go about yeah, so. Should be okay. Uh, this one makes it go down to 100. There's no point in opening the throttle more than 100. This will throw a check engine if it does. Uh, this one too, make it 100. Okay. So then we save this one here. Save and exit. Okay. Then I'm going to do the rest of these maps and then after we'll save this into a file. Then that file is we will load back into the car. Hopefully it doesn't take 30 minutes to load back. Usually writing is a lot faster than reading. So after that we'll dyno it again and then we'll see how much power we make. Okay, we did our baseline for our expander and this is what we got so 73 uh, fine let's put it like the spec at 75 horses this is just about right because the thing is let's see expander 1.6 engine expander 1.6 engine horsepower produces that ain't right Oh, this road. Okay, not this one. <laughs> no, not this one. Blah, 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 blah. 1.5 for cylinder gear, 1.6. Oh, come on. <laughs> 103. Oh, there you go. So, 103 horse, 1.5. So, 1.6, 1.5. Uh, the now only a 1.5? Really? I always thought it was a 1.6. Anyway. 103 horses, so 75 is just about right. Yeah, that's pretty correct. Uh, hopefully, after a remap, usually on a small displacement engine like this, 1.5, 1.6, 1 we normally get about anywhere from 8 to 13 horses more. So that's what pretty much what we expect to see after we load our map and then do dyno it again. Okay, we're writing the file now and it's preparing it or so transferring uh, Okay, it's quite a bit faster than Reading so this should take about uh, so Three four minutes. So we'll check back after that So we went from 73 to 84 horses, so that's pretty well. 5, 11, uh, quits, quits, let's peg it at 10 horses. So, yeah. And we're able to extend the power band here. Uh, here at the bottom, as we saw a while ago at the air fuel ratio chart, well, map, it's all really stoichiometric, so changing it does not really matter anymore. So that's already seems. In stock programming, it's pretty much optimized for the fuel. What we did was we did advance the timing and then we did uh, change the throttle sensitivity so we got rid of the delay. Uh, I guess what's going to happen is we let the driver drive it. When he comes back, we ask him how it is. How is it? 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 Yun, dun ang dun, may tipid yan kasi hindi mo na kinatamapak ng malalim. Lumakas? Gumaan. Gumaan. Oh, yun, yun yun. yun. <laughs> oh, tama, sige, pasok mo dun. 